I think the day of compromise has come. I think the day of putting this off has ended. We will get a health care bill in October because the people who want it will compromise and the people who oppose it are going to get beaten. That's what I think is going to happen. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, okay. We'll and this uh, pussyfooting I, I around and looking at the cost, if you want to kill it, come up with this. We could Wait have avoided minute. World yeah, War no, II if we went seriously. to the cost factors ahead of time. We wouldn't have won World War you're, II if we looked you're, only you're, at the cost. You're, you're exactly right, Chris. I mean, it, like the, the Bush administration over the past eight years, they didn't pussyfoot around. They just wrote checks. Stimulus bill, they didn't right. pussyfoot around. They just wrote an $800 billion right. check. Wall Street, Barack no. Obama's budget didn't pussyfoot around. Record deficits right. for the next decade. Well, Wall Joe, it's Street, values. They didn't I mean, pussyfoot around. Joe, it's right. They it's just values. Wrote checks. The value the, the Bush administration had. They just okay. wrote checks. Let's just do it. Just write checks without asking questions. Let Chris speak. No, okay, we ask the ahead, questions, Chris. we look at the costs, and we get it done. Look, at, you know, you it seems to me that the, the right wing will fight any war and say, don't look at the cost because they want to no. fight the war. We've right. seen this. Well, well that's, you know what? Did anybody look at the cost factor we went into Iraq? A absolutely. Because you wanted you to fight the war. Right. And Joe will agree with that. Well, I, I actually, Chris, I know this will shock you because I haven't talked about it on this show. They're hypocrites. I've actually written a book about this. <laughs> about how Republicans spent too much money over the past eight years. I'm a humble, quiet man, so I don't talk about it. It's called The Last Best Hope. No, I think it's a good one. Joe, it's called The Last Best Hope. We have a telephone. Oh, yeah. It's The Last but Best anyway, Hope. No, no, Chris. But the thing is, it's not. It, 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 they should have asked tougher questions. We should have asked tougher questions about a $7 right. trillion dollar Medicare drug Wouldn't benefit Wouldn't you plan. agree with that? It's bankrupting Medicare. Medicare and Medicaid go Joe, bankrupt over the, Joe, over the next 10 years. Joe, I think this is a sound and when debate they do, to Chris, have. Hold on a second, Chris. Chris, hold on. When Medicare and Medicaid go bankrupt, and I, wa I don't want to be mischaracterized here, it is going to be the poor and the elderly who are disproportionately hurt. I've got no problem providing 47 million people with health care insurance. Show me how the system survives over the next decade, and then we can have a good conversation about providing this. Well, the problem is, Joe, that the people who make this cost argument are the people who made the, co the argument against Medicare because they didn't want Medicare. They didn't want Social Security. And, and they wouldn't ha we wouldn't have it if we listened to those arguments. Chris, you're fighting old wars. I'm talking about the future. No, I'm fighting the it, war you're fighting right ideology. now, Joe. It sounds it is... like you'd be happy if at the end of the year we decided it was just too expensive Chris, We're better off not you know having what? a health care you know... plan. Don't, Chris, don't come on my show and accuse me of things that I don't do. You're throwing around terms like right wing. You have no idea, obviously, what my position is on health care. Oh, are you for a health care bill this year? with a long term. Let, please let me finish what I say, and then I'll let you talk. Do you want I a health care bill? At, hey, Chris, I'm going to ask you again to let me finish what I say, and then I will let you talk. I am concerned as are most economists about the fact that rising health care costs cripple America's economy over the next decade, Medicare and Medicaid. Yes, I want a health care bill. I want a health care bill that slows down the costs over the next 10 to 20 years that saves us economically. If 47 million uninsured Americans can be part of that, that's fine. But if you don't mind me saying so, this attitude of let's just write a check and worry about it later, that's what George W. Bush got wrong over the past eight years and what Barack Obama's gotten wrong over the first six okay. months. And that's why the poll numbers are turning on him right now on these issues. Chris. Go ahead. Well, I disagree. I think the country has made a commitment in every poll we take that we need a public option. We need a health care plan for the country. We're the only industrialized country that doesn't have one. We're way behind on this. People that come to work, who catch the bus in the morning, who work all day, who provide for their family should have health care. Joe, that's a value judgment that I've made and the American people have made, and you have not made. You have not made that value judgment, Joe. Chris. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, so there you go, Chris, again, Hold on. putting words into my mouth that I have well, never deny said. It, then. Now, if that makes you feel better. No, just what, say I, just, I have I made Chris, a commitment to health care for all how, working how Americans. Times, Chris, would you like us to play just as I am and have me walk down to the front of the church and recommit my life to nationalized health care? Yeah. Listen to me one more time. I will say it again. All right. I've got no problem with 47 million uninsured people getting health care. I think it is immoral that 47 million Americans don't have health care in this country. However, 
that's got to be part of a bigger package that takes care of the long-term costs of Medicare and Medicaid and health care for the rest of America. You provide what you're talking about right now without looking at this whole uh, entire problem, you'll have a bankrupt system 10 years from now. I'm looking at the bigger picture, Chris. I agree well, with you, as also, long as we get I it done. Okay, well, I'm not sure it, it can be get done, but it has we'll to get done. I will say on the left, this isn't a right-wing thing. Uh, on the left, I've questioned President Bush's spending on wars. I also question the numbers here as well, as are, I think it's 84% of Americans. So I just think we've got to be careful yeah, yeah. with the conversation. Chris no Matthews, please stay with us. We'll continue no, the No, I think you're caught up in this, we'll right Mika. Back. I think you've been caught up in this pussyfooting here. That's the problem here. Okay. Um, Thank you, Chris. Me? We're gonna whoa, we're whoa. gonna we're no. gonna come back and um, we'll. Uh, no, actually, I want to know what he means by that. Oh, Chris. Yeah. Go it's on. just that I think what what fighting a war that wasn't necessary is not the same as denying people health care when they go to work. I think we got to provide people health care. We don't have to go to these wars. Um, That's I a take difference issue of values. with caught up. I'm not sure what you're saying with that, but I'll tell you this. There's nothing wrong as a member of the media to ask questions about We have to ask the questions, but we have to make a value judgment we as well. We have to ask the questions. And we are asking That's the questions. Great. I want My it to question be is neutral. are we going to get it done or are we going to pussyfoot? Okay, we'll leave it on your question, and we'll be right back with New York Magazine's John Heilman. Woo. You're watching Morning Joe. Hi.